Hi everyone, it's Miss Susie. Today's book is about tigers. Perfectly big cats, like this big Bengal tiger on this rock. Tigers are big and beautiful animals. They are strong and powerful too. Tigers are the biggest cats in the world. Hey, on which side does a tiger have the most stripes? Well, the outside, of course. A tiger's home. Tigers live in the forest. They spend a lot of time in the water, too. They live in hot places like Indonesia, and they live in cold places like Russia. And here is a picture of an Indo-Chinese tiger. And here, on the right, the Siberian tiger. Tigers that live in cold places are bigger than other tigers. They also have thicker fur to keep them warm. They're built for hunting. Tigers are fierce hunters. Their bodies are built for catching prey. Their coat, a tiger's stripes, camouflage it in tall grass and dry leaves. Its prey may not see the tiger until it's too late. Their teeth. Four large teeth help tigers kill prey quickly. And their eyes. A tiger's terrific eyesight helps it hunt at night. And its paws. Big paws with soft pads help a tiger walk quietly. Sharp claws hook into prey and don't let go. And their tails. A long tail helps the tiger keep its balance when moving quickly. And their back legs, big muscles, help a tiger dash or leap at its prey. And here are a couple tiger terms. Camouflage. That's an animal's natural co color or form that blends it in with what's, what it's around. Prey. That's an animal that is eaten by another animal. Hey, what do you get when you cross a tiger with a sheep? A striped sweater. Meat eaters. Tigers are carnivores, animals that eat meat. Their favorite foods are large hooved animals such as buffalo, deer, and wild pigs. A hungry tiger can chow down 80 pounds of meat in one meal. That's about 320 hamburgers. Tiger turf. Well, besides hunting, tigers spend a lot of time marking their territory. They are not good at sharing. Tigers make long scratch marks on trees. They also rub their faces on trees and leave smelly scents. This tells other tigers to stay away. And here's a tiger term. Territory. That's an area that an animal protects from other animals. Like this Siberian tiger in the picture, scratching the tree and rubbing his scent. Well, here's some cool cat facts. Let's check out these neat facts about tigers. Well, no two tigers have exactly the same stripes. And a tiger's whiskers help them to feel its way in the dark. A tiger's large paws keep them from sinking deep into the snow, like the Siberian tiger. And tigers can live in temperatures as low as minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit. And tigers are great swimmers. They are never far from water. And a tiger's front teeth are three inches long, and they have much better hearing than humans. They're cubs. A female tiger usually has two or three cubs at one time. The cubs weigh about four pounds at birth. The mother raises the cubs by herself. Male and female tigers come together only to have cubs. Otherwise, adult tigers live alone, like the Bengal tiger here with her cubs. Look at this mother Bengal tiger as she nurses her young. The cubs drink their mother's milk. After three or four months, they start to eat meat. Tiger cubs play games. They chase, leap, and pounce, and they are learning how to be good hunters. And when they are two years old, young tigers leave their family to find their own territories. Hey, what does a tiger say when it meets other animals? 
<laughs> Pleased to eat you. Tiger talents. Well, tigers are full grown when they leave their families. They are big, heavy cats, but they can climb trees and jump great distances, like this Bengal tiger on this log of this tree. And in fact, tigers can leap as far as 30 feet. That's as long as five adult men lying head to toe. And unlike house cats, tigers are good swimmers. They like to cool off in rivers and pools, like this Sumatran tiger. The white tiger. The white Bengal tiger is very rare. It can't grow orange fur. Its white coat, brown stripes, and icy blue eyes are quite a sight. You won't find a white Bengal tiger in the wild, but you might be able to see one in a zoo. Hey, what's striped and bouncy? Well, a tiger on a pogo stick. Tigers are in trouble though. Tigers are endangered. About 100 years ago, there were 100,000 tigers in the wild. Today, there are less than 3,500. There are five different kinds of tigers today. They are the Bengal tiger, the South China tiger, Indo-Chinese tiger, Sumatran tiger, and Siberian tiger. Three other kinds of tigers have already become extinct. And here's a couple more tiger terms. Endangered. Well, that means being at risk of dying out. And extinct? Well, that's a group of animals that are no longer living. Why are tigers disappearing? Well, tigers are losing their habitat. People cut down trees. Tigers live and find food in the forests. And when forests disappear, well, so do tigers. People also kill tigers for their body parts. Their skins are used for rugs. Other parts are used to make traditional Chinese medicines. Killing tigers is, is against the law, but it still happens today. And here's another tiger term. Habitat. Well, that's the place where a plant or animal naturally lives. And hey, what do you get when you cross a tiger with a snowman? Well, frostbite. helping tigers. Though tigers are in trouble, there is good news. New forest areas for tigers have been found. And also, people are planting trees where forests have been cut down. And you can help too. Tell your family and friends about what you've learned. And we can all work together to help keep tigers on our planet.